everyone, Nicole Cordovis here. So a lot of you have been asking me about my pageant journey and asking for pageant tips as well if you're planning to join pageants. So I think this is the best time to actually go through my old photos during my Binibining Pilipinas competition back in 2016 para makita ko ulit yung journey ko as a candidate from the screening up until I was crowned Binibining Pilipinas Grand International and everything else in between because Isang side lang yung nakikita yung preparation. There were a lot of extracurriculars happening in the background. So I hope my kwento ko sa inyo in full details today. Okay, okay, um, okay. So to give you guys a bit of a background, um, I was wearing like really smoky eyes and a pink lipstick. I don't think I'm gonna pull off that look again today. Pero that time kasi, syempre, as a candidate, nangangapa ka pa lang kung ano yung look mo, how you want to project yourself. And coming from someone na who doesn't use a lot of makeup from before, I didn't know talaga how to do my makeup. So, leave it to the makeup artist. I'm so glad there were a lot of people who helped us back then. Like, we would rent a whole room where all the other aspirants would also be there and get their hair and makeup done so this was my look I look really dusty and you would have to imagine guys na from 7 a.m. siguro or 9 a.m. I don't remember up until mga 11 30 or midnight yung screening and we have to go there in our cocktail dresses because people will already start taking pictures of you upon registration and then we're gonna change into our swimsuits and I never I was never a bikini girl so first time ko bumili I think ng two-piece na nagba match <laughs> like this is a very good two-piece bikini set already for me and I was happy with my look I, I, I wasn't sure if it suited me back then so was I happy with my look back then? I kind of was because it's like transformation. Siya. I was never made up that much. So very Princess Diaries makeover levels siya for me. And I was like, okay, make or break now. I just have to pull this off, feel sexy. And in fairness, oh, I remember I got a tan pala. It's a sugar, brown sugar tan, something like that. Hindi ako nakapag beach masyado that time kasi puro training siya sunod sunod. So you can't really get away. And then, ang ganda na feedback ng mga tao no. Like, nakita ko in the comment section right after. They were like, Miss Universe, gano? Like, she's, she looks so sultry and fierce. But I really just didn't know how to smile in both of them. And I was so conscious of my smoky eye back then. So like, okay, so good feedback from this photo. Happy naman ako about it. So after the screening was the official numbering naman of the candidates, and I got number eleven. Hey, I was wearing a Sernan Ortizia dress, and Sernan was my favorite designer talaga. I loved his designs. It's very architectural. I remember wearing this for Miss Chinatown pa, and I wore it again na lang for Binibining Filipinas because, guys, slow fashion, come on. <laughs> like, it's a good dress. It's the type of dress you would wear over and over again. My makeup, though, this time, I look so nice. Like, <laughs> mukha ko sobrang bait. So it was so different from your screening na makeup ko, if you can see it. Uh, sobrang fierce ko na screening this time. Parang hindi ako makapatay ng lamok or something. So nanibago yung mga tao. And, you know, pageant fans really tend to like just comment or deduce their conclusions from what they see on photos. So suddenly it was like, okay, maybe not Miss Universe. Because <laughs> she doesn't look so fierce. And a lot of people actually didn't like this look. But personally, I like it a lot because... It looks sweet, so why not, diba? Eh, ngayon naman, everyone's pushing for the girls to be more experimental with their looks, so who's complaining, right? <laughs> so, the next thing us girls look forward to is, of course, the official photo shoot of Bidi Bidi Filipinas, where we get dressed up. And this was shot by Raymond Saldana, the official photographer, of course, of Bidi Bidi Filipinas. And again, I was wearing really dark, smoky eyes and a red lip. I remember kasi, this time, we were working with David Salon already. And, syempre, makeup is very tricky. 
So this is why we need to train for makeup as well. Not every makeup artist will get your look immediately, pero the important thing is they're so willing to collaborate with you. And the and you just have to say it to them in a very nice way na, Hi, can we make this uh, wing eyeliner shorter or something? Diba? Everything naman, kailangan mo na lang pakisamahan and say everything in a nice way. Huwag kayo maging offensive. So that's a trick I learned in my Binibini stint there. So this was the first glam shot ever. Super happy with it. Kumbia, yung dress namin. But the thing about Kumbia is, you wouldn't wear it out. Pero sa photo shoot, they actually look good. So this is nice, and of course, your signature earrings din ni Madame Stella na pinoprovide niya to us girls. And this photo, I think napansin na nila ako na, oh, she's a contender. So yeah, good job, old me. <laughs> oh, and here's the fun part also about pageantry. Like it will really test you. So from that glam shot, we changed into our swimsuits provided by them as well. And then, I really liked the concept that time. I was very proud of my body here. Look at those ears, guys. Hindi na ganun katawan ko ngayon, guys, ha? Itong time kasi, masistress ka talaga sa pageant and everyday may activity. So even if you don't diet, you lose a lot of weight. I think this time, I was eating four cups of rice a day kasi ang daming ginagawa and gugutumin at gugutumin ka talaga. And the last thing you would want is mahimatay ka on the spot while in an activity. So, this one I was very happy with. It's super sexy. Okay, mapapa gym na talaga ako mamaya. So, yeah, I, I really like this day. And I got a lot of compliments from the photographers, which is yun yung affirmation mo throughout the pageant kung strong contender ka or not. So, yay! So, we had another official shoot. This time, itong shoot na to, it was for the tarpaulins na dinit display outside gateway Araneta and it's for everyone to see lahat ng dumadaan sa Araneta nag office sa Araneta may kita to so it was very crucial i had a hard time nung time na to kasi parang hindi bagay sa akin yung ganung wet look parang hindi na makuha sa head ko guys the hair is so so crucial in pageantry like kunare etong cut yung sa gitna na naka-frame dito sa face ko. Ito yung sinet sa akin ng hairstylist ko noon, si Mamang Brent Salas, na ito yung pinaka-look mo, anak. Makaka-frame talaga siya ng face mo. It's the best look for you. So, kailangan consistently, ganito yung framing ng hair mo. So, I really had to follow that. And lalo na kasi my bone structure is really strong. It's tricky. So, I needed their expert opinion. And I'm really glad I listened to them. But for this one, wet look and then... At first, nakapababa siyang ganon as opposed to that. This one's more bagay with me. I usually sport this look now on my stint sa showtime. And then, before though, nakaside siyang ganon, pababa. So it didn't look good sa photos. Pero thank God, si Sir Raymond Salganya, maalagain siyang photographer. So if he knows na it's not a good look on you, Papa edit niya, papa baguhin niya, and let's retake this. So this is my second time taking this actually, this shot. So, I think, yeah, it worked out well. I'm still sporting the same makeup though. I haven't had that much training yet. And napansin ko, ang, ang litis ng brows ko dati. Ngayon kasi like, hindi na ako nagpapa shave or wax ng brows actually. Uso naman eh, let's keep it that way, di ba? So, the next activity is our first exposure, I think, sa mga, sa audience. Because it's usually held in Araneta. Gateway or Farmer's Market. Ngayon, Farmer's Market, pero nung time namin sa Gateway's activity center nila doon, it was the talent show. And since wala akong talent, yes, hindi ako nag-talent. Uh, wala naman kasi siyang bearing sa score, pero you can get a special award, pero wag na lang pilitin, di ba, kung wala. Kasi you're so busy already and stressed with all the other pageant activities. So, kung... Ano, hindi naman kailangan. You don't, you don't wanna add extra stress on yourself na. So, sitting pretty na lang kami that time. Yung mga hindi nag-perform on stage. Pero, kinailangan namin mag -rampa. And first time na may introduce namin sarili namin na, Nicole Cordovez, your candidate number 11 from the city of Manila. Ganon. So, asarap na feeling. Pero, I was so awkward then because takot talaga ako rumampa on stage. Pero, yung look ko dito, I super like... Um, I think I did my own makeup this time, and yeah, that was a good day. That was a good day. I said good day, meaning in pageant terms, good feedback on social media. Because dun mo rin naman gauge if you're doing something right or wrong. 
That's why even nung sa pageant days ko, kung may mga bashers or negative comments, I listen to them also. And if it's true, I accept them. Pero if it's not, I do away with them. So ganun lang kasimple. Pero we still have to see, di ba, if totoo nga sinasabi nila. Kasi kesa naman di ka nakinig, kasi totoo pala, sayang yung chance. Yun lang naman. Ang daming sinabi. I'm gonna share with you guys also this photo shoot I did with Doc Marlon. I was styled by Ton Lau, uh, and my makeup was done by Anton Patdu. And I feel like ito yung pinaka moment na I got rid of my black eyeshadows. Kasi dun ko lang nalaman na okay, I don't need pala smoky eyes sa pageant. And then Anton did a really good job also with my eyes na it's fierce without being too much. And then it registers well pa rin naman pala sa camera. So I was like, okay, I learned so much <laughs> sa shoot na yon. And then Doc Marlon, I almost cried actually kasi he will really teach you how to model, how to connect with the camera. And I wasn't a full-on model before. Like, okay, test shoots here and there, but nothing big. And I, I didn't take modeling seriously either. It was just a side job. So I learned everything kay Doc Marlon. And photo shoots are so important, as you can see, because you'll be doing a lot of that in pageants. And people will judge you based on that. Hindi lang siya at the end na na you'll be on stage and everything that counts for a lot but all leading up to that point it'll be a lot of photo shoots and it's important that now you can connect with your camera you can connect with your audience and you know how to project yourself sinaba ko lang talaga sarili ko like with every chance i got sino man willing na mag-shoot sa akin for free kasi syempre hindi naman kami capable that time to pay for anything but there were a lot of people who were willing to help as well and yeah this this is one of those times and every time i learn something new and i grow so you just have to look for your own opportunities talaga and people who will help you get to that point and ito yung naging turning point for me because there was the jag event and yun yung nag-solidify ng position ko, I believe, as a strong contender. Before going to the event in Robinson's Ermita, Mamang Brent Salas colored my hair in a salon. And yun yung first time na spinort ko yung hair na yun. Kinulot pa niya yung hair ko, so my hair was super Latina. As in, perfect talaga. Cream silk hair. And then, my makeup I already learned that time ki Anton Patu. So, mas light na yung makeup ko. I used brown shadows already. And it was just the perfect look. And na feel ko talaga na everyone gathered around me more. Napansin talaga nila yon. And people started editing the Miss Universe crown on my head. So, I was like, okay, we got the look. Hindi na ako kinakabahan. <laughs> so, yeah. Ah, oh, nakaka-stress, no? Puro ano. Makeup looks talaga, nakaka-pressure. One wrong move, and then it's a bad day already for you in the world of pageantry. Let that sink in. See how much stress, stress we actually go through. Okay, so the next exposure that we got naman is the Parade of Beauties. And ito yung talagang kailangan na pang malakas ang makeup talaga and look. Because number one, the moment you pull up sa driveway ng Novotel, babatiin ka na agad ni Madam Stella. And ang daming rumors, di ba, sa pageant community na, ha, nakaspot si Madam Stella habang Parade of Beauties, pinalakpakan niya, ganun, ang mahiwagang palakpak. So it was a lot of pressure. And we don't get to see Madam Stella so often that time. Kasi she goes to the really, really big events lang like this one. Or kung biglang magjudge na siya ng pakunwari talaga <laughs> habang nasa dressing room kayo. Di pa ako bihasa sa makeup ko that time. Uh, my technique was really bad. And like under eyelashes pa ako that time, which is a very bad idea. Like guys, what kayo under eyelashes pagka hindi pa advanced yung learnings nyo in makeup. And I don't know, I think in my case that might take years. It's hard. So... Medyo nakakahulas yung makeup ko that time. Wasn't so happy with it. And yeah, pero the experience overall as a yung Parade of Beauties, kasi maraming nagko-conscious and nagtataka na, why would we still do Parade of Beauties? It's like parading women in their swimsuits and ends sa ganon. Pero that time, I really enjoyed it kasi it felt like I'm part of the Binibini tradition 
Not naman na, hindi naman ako nabastos or anything. It was just fans surrounding you, di ba? With love and cheer and you get to greet them. I feel like it's a, it's super crazy fun lang na activity ng binibini na you wouldn't want to miss also. Siyempre, nakaka-haggard din yung pollution and everything. Pero it's a once-in-a-lifetime kind of thing. So, might as well enjoy it, di ba? And then came the press presentation. You know, it's not always a good day for your face. <laughs> and that day, hindi na kuha yung look na gusto ko. And it was so stressful. I think I was one of the last girls to like be ready. Kasi ang dami rin nakapila for your hair, for makeup. So it doesn't always go as planned. And then at the same time, syempre, the organization wants to make sure na we're on time, we start on time, we end on time. Baka abutan tayo ng sunset pagka masyado tayo late lumabas. So nakaka-pressure kasi they're like, Okay, you need to be ready! 30 minutes! Ganito, ganyan, 20 minutes! No, you have to go out now! So, oh my gosh, the stress that day talaga malala. And I feel like it was my worst makeup look. But, in fairness, na iraos siya. Like, it wasn't as bad as I thought, especially in photos. It's just, it could have been better. And then... Yung rampa ko din dito, it wasn't so bad as to how I started. So, that was a good performance for me, I think. And since number 11 ako, medyo git na ako sa mga dance numbers na ganon. So, <laughs> kita kita ko ng judges. Yay! And then, up next is the JAG fashion show na kaakibat, kaakibat, kaakibat ng national costume competition. So for my national costume, it was designed by Mac Tumang. I borrowed this dress. So I drove to Pampanga like three times ata to like fit, design, to uh, check if okay na siya. And it was perfect because yung nakita ko pa lang siya sa ko porcelain. Perfect siya kasi fill chai roots ko. Parang na-embody ng dress na yun. So it was so easy to make a description for the dress. It was so detailed also and yeah, I was so happy with my dress that time. Thanks, Mac! <laughs> also in the Jag Fashion Show, wow, naka bra top lang ako with um, a sweater, uh, no, a jacket. And then he go bad ko na so like, sige, go na, ito na to, fierce na to. Like, ito, do ko na lang yung rampa ko sa energy. Since hindi naman gumagalaw masyado yung hips ko, kailangan akong lagain ng mga 10 hours ganon <laughs> sa pressure cooker. Wala. So, sabi ko, sige, dadaanin ko lang sa energy. That time, I put too much contour here and here. Like, yung mga fake abs pa that time. Kasi, you don't have any idea naman how the light will hit you. So, parang minsan feeling mo hindi pa kita masyado or something. So, Better make sure na lang. Pero nasobrahan talaga ako ng makeup this time. <laughs> and then came the finals night. My gown was designed by Edwin Tan. He did a really good job with this one. I love it so much. It was like fierce and feminine at the same time. It's so me. So up until today, I still get people come up to me and say na, Girl, yung hair mo that night, cream silk hair. Kakaiba, like, Pagkalabas mo, hair. So I'm so proud of my hair that night. Thank you so much, my mom, Brent. I love you. <laughs> so that was my pageant journey in a nutshell. And I hope you got to learn or see the process of what us girls actually go through. There's so much more happening behind the scene, but this is pretty much it. Like, put it on repeat lang over and over again for two to four months in total. In pageants, always remember lang na it's never over until it's the finals night. If you get really good and supportive people behind you who believe in your vision, they can create things for you. Like, they will really help you get to the top. And with that single feedback na mabibigay lang sa'yo or isang thing na matuturo sa'yo, it'll make all the difference already. So, wag ka yung tatamarin in the middle of your pageant journey. Keep trying to exceed other people's expectations and your expectations for yourself as well because in pageants, that's the perfect time to stretch yourself as a person and realize what you're actually capable of. And you'll be really surprised at how much you can actually bloom, grow, and how much you can actually do. Like, bagugulat ka na lang at the end of the pageant na, wow, kinaya ko pala lahat yun. So, yeah, that's it. 
I hope you enjoy your pageant journey. And if you want me to talk more about the other aspects of Binibining Pilipinas, just comment it down below so that I can save it for the next episode. This has been Nicole Cordovez and the Iwan Kasabihang. It is not the crown that makes the queen, but the queen who makes the crown. And I thank you. <laughs> If you like this episode, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you won't have to miss an episode because it's going to be a lot of fun from here on out.